meets paint can and teddy bear. All right, you ready to make some noise, boys? I think so. Okay, so. this should be fun. Combine two things just made for each other, machine guns and our high-speed cameras. But how do these machine guns work? And how accurate are they? To find out, we invited military historian and right, weapons yeah, expert it. Marty Morgan to join us at a so shooting range. Weapons. You probably have seen both of these before. Thompson submachine gun and here, the legendary and infamous AK-47. Well, why don't we look at the AK first? Yeah, that's how I like to wake up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Those shells are kicking out like yeah, nobody's like business. Fast, huh? Absolutely. Let's play it. The AK-47 kicks out an incredible 10 bullets every single second. Right about there at the end of travel, you see that wobble and it kicks up and wobbles a little bit before it begins to come back into battery. That's why AK-47s aren't accurate. Now let's see what happens when the bullet exits the muzzle. So that entire column of air that's in front of the bullet has to get out right, before and, the bullet gets out. And there's nowhere and else for it to go. Out. We're even seeing all the turbulence that is created from it. Now it's time to test machine gun number two. All right, why don't we get the Tommy gun in here and uh, check that out. Move on to the next one. The guys will be shooting at a special target. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre, our tribute to Al Capone. We've got a bunch of uh, Valentine's Day items in a lovely glass case. And uh, we're putting the high-speed camera in a housing to protect our valuable asset. And then we're gonna grab a Tommy gun and blow this stuff up. What a surprise. The Valentine's display was no match for our Tommy gun. Oh, man. Car the total carnage. This is going to be brutal. This is right. oh, 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 the first shot hit the champagne. Valentine's celebration. Yeah, so you can see even just from those first two shots, I mean, that happened in a quarter of a second. Yeah. Look at that big chunk of glass kind of just. Nice. It, it kind of falls away elegantly. Everything is elegant in this scale. Now it's time to add a third machine gun to the mix. Private Ryan's worst nightmare, the legendary MG-42. The MG is capable of firing 1,300 rounds per minute. We set up a paint bucket out there. Hopefully, we should be able to hit the center of that. We'll see how tight this thing can really shoot. Fire in the hole! That That's what it. I'm talking about. Got some orange oh, paint. Oh, I got him good. Wow, that is amazing. So that's accurate. pretty good. Yeah. And, and what you're seeing here, it, look at the distribution of the hits. Yep, four, ten. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You counted them already. Ten hits. Ten, but you know, this this or this could actually be 11. And, and you saw how quickly that happened. Half I mean, a second. The renowned precision of German engineering in action. The MG42 is firing almost 22 bullets every second. Bullets striking the cascading droplets of paint. That's kind of interesting. Right. 198 grain full metal jacketed bullet hitting the can at 2,700 feet per second. Speaking of knockout, we're pretty confident about the results of our next simulated fight. Machine gun versus gasoline filled paint can. We got some uh, explosive gasoline paint cans. I would love to shoot those. I had a slight feeling you might. While Matt choppers into position, Marty loads bullets called tracers which have phosphorus on their tips, making their flight visible to the naked eye. And so my tracers are gonna be hitting the bucket, buckets full of gasoline, boom. Marty takes his shot. The bullet pierces the can at 900 miles per hour. The pressure of the impact sending gas particles into the air. Milliseconds later, the phosphorus ignites the gas and well, see for yourself. But our next weapon reveals a surprising fact of ballistics physics. The damage a bullet inflicts is based more on its velocity than on its size. We got a gigantic piece of ice out there. We're gonna blow it up. Marty's using a 30 caliber machine gun, which has a muzzle velocity of more than 1,500 miles per hour. But their supersonic speed will have much more impact on the target. Firing on three, two, one. Some 
Oh, there's a bullet. Oh, Bam. sweet. That was cool. In slow motion, you can see the ice crack in less than a thousandth of a second as the bullet's impact shatters the molecular structure of the ice. At this speed, the ice is cracking still faster than the bullet can go. Right. So if you, you know if you were looking at this like inch by inch, you'd see the bullet and the whole ice would crack before the bullet got through that block. Marty, thanks so much. Hey, for it's a pleasure. Thanks Not for so me. fast. You didn't think our guys would leave the range without shooting one of these guns, did you? Try to hit the car, guys. Not the ground. Three, two, one.